5 Amazing Things That Can Be Done With Nanotechnology A nanomaterial has at least one of its dimensions smaller than 100 nanometers. To put that in a graspable sense, a nanometer is one millionth of a millimeter, or about 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Nanotechnology is a study of objects in the nanoscale. At that size, new phenomena take precedence over those that hold sway in the macro world. They behave completely different from their larger counterparts, often having properties like increased strength, chemical reactivity, and conductivity, a huge feat of engineering. Hi guys, welcome to Gen XYZ Finance and Technology, where we tailor data into more comprehensible information for our curious audiences who are in a hurry, just like you. Now before we start, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button to keep seeing informative tech videos and practical financial tips. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers said that nanotechnology will, quote, leave virtually no aspect of life untouched and is expected to be in widespread use by 2020, unquote. Let us explore five amazing things that can be done with nanotechnology today. First, medical nanorobotics. Some of the most exciting breakthroughs in nanotechnology are occurring in the medical field, allowing medicine to become more personalized, cheaper, safer, and easier to deliver. Cancer therapy seems to be at the forefront of medical nanorobotics. Nanoparticles can be used as tumor-destroying hyperthermia agents that are injected into the tumor and then activated to produce heat, destroying cancer cells locally either by magnetic fields, x-rays, or light. Scientists suggest that sneaking existing chemotherapy drugs or genes into tumor cells via nanomaterials allows for much more localized delivery, both reducing significantly the quantity of drugs absorbed by the patient and the side effects on healthy tissues in the body. Other exciting developments nanotechnology permits include the possibility to increase the growth of nerve cells, for example in a damaged brain or spinal cord, and using nanofibers to help regenerate damaged spinal nerves. This is currently being tested on mice. Second, practical applications. It's quite amazing how much of nanotechnology-related research is inspired by nature's designs. As a matter of fact, nature is full of examples of sophisticated nanoscopic architectural feats. Nanomaterials exhibit special physical and chemical properties that make them interesting for novel, environmentally friendly products. Nanotechnology currently plays a rather subordinate role in environmental protection, whether it be in research or in practical applications, but could be expanded greatly in the future. Examples include the increased durability of materials against mechanical stress or weathering, helping to increase the useful life of a product, and the nanotechnology-based dirt and water-resistant coating to reduced cleaning effort. Check out Ultra Everdry, which completely repels almost any liquid. Third, Nano Fashion. We are now in the age of wearable electronics, as exhibited by the fast-growing array of smartwatches, fitness bands, and other advanced next-generation health monitoring devices such as electronic stick-on tattoos. Not only will these devices be embedded into fabric, becoming a sort of flexible computer, but an electronics device or system could ultimately become the fabric itself. Electronic textiles, or the e-textiles, will open lots of opportunities in the design and production of a new generation of garments with distributed sensors and electronic functions. Examples of other industries impacted by nanotechnology include skincare, space technology and clothing, material technologies, and the sports industry. In fact, the most widely recognized application is in the shark skin suit worn during the world record-breaking Olympic swimming championship. The suit, which includes a plasma layer enhanced by nanotechnology to repel water molecules, is designed to help the swimmer glide through the water with less drag. Fourth, Smart Dust Imagine a cloud of sensors, each the size of a grain of sand or even smaller, blown aloft by hurricane winds and relaying data on the storm to weather stations below. Now picture a nano sensor scattered all over the quote-unquote smart world, relaying data about anything under the sun. Smart dust refers to wireless networks of sub-millimeter scale autonomous computing and sensing platforms not larger than a grain of sand. It senses and records data about its environment, such as light, temperature, sound, presence of toxins or vibrations, 
and transmits that data wirelessly to larger computer systems. Smart Dust is a vision of the network future where an intelligent network of trillions of minuscule sensors continuously feel, taste, smell, see, and hear what is going on in their surrounding environments, communicating with each other, and exchanging information anywhere, even in narrow and difficult areas. And fifth, computers and electronics. Nanotechnology has been pivotal in advancing computing and electronics, leading to faster, smaller, smarter, and more portable systems and products that consume far less power with longer-lasting batteries. Circuits made from carbon nanotubes could be vital in maintaining the growth of computer power, allowing Moore's Law to continue. Lots of people know how advanced our computers now are, but don't entirely grasp the drastic innovations that got us to this point. Early computers occupied an entire room or even a whole floor, while nowadays we can just carry it around in one of our hands. That's quite remarkable, right? This has been made possible through the miniaturization of the world of microprocessors. For example, transistors, the switches that enable all modern computing, have reduced drastically from roughly 250 nanometers in size in the year 2000 to just a single nanometer in 2016. This revolution in transistor size may soon enable the memory for an entire computer to be stored on just a single tiny chip, maybe even implantable inside humans. But that will uh, stir up a lots of ethical issues beyond the scope of this explainer video. The ultra small has the potential to make enormous changes to the world. That's what nanotechnologists are trying to point out right here. Nanotechnology is the next big thing. What's the first thing that comes into your minds when you think about nanotechnology? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and consider clicking that notification bell to keep yourself updated on our latest videos.